Oh man. It's all about them bases today. <laughs> Let's go! What's really good everybody, it's your boy Cedric. Welcome to a special episode. I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite bass VSTs. You guys have been asking for this. We're gonna be checking out electric basses, synth basses, electronic basses. Honestly, I'm so excited. Let's, let's just get into it. One thing I quickly want to say, I know I throw a lot of different products at you guys. If you decide to buy one, buy all, buy none, it's entirely up to you. I'm not telling anyone to go buy a specific product. I'm not saying you're better or worse if you have or don't have any of these plugins. I'm just trying to help you guys and show you guys the products I like to use. Okay, so today we're talking about one of the most important instruments when it comes to creating music. Actually, matter of fact, scratch that. This is the single most important instrument. Bass is what connects the rhythm section, like your drums, to the melodic section like your pianos or guitars or pads. Yeah, so today I'm gonna to share with you some of my favorite bass plugins. Now, I previously did a video on my favorite VSTs in 2022 and 2021. And in those VSTs, you're gonna find great basses. You're gonna find great basses in Omnisphere. You're gonna find great basses in Nexus, Yuhi, Roland, Electra X, but those are not bass only plugins. Today I wanna to focus on bass only plugins or bass only instruments. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the first instrument is a free instrument. So definitely go check that out. And that is Ample Bass Light. Now, I would love to show you guys a demo, but for some reason I can't get it to work. It's a pretty, it's actually really good for a free plugin. Now, the reason why I didn't purchase any of the Ample Basses is with the free versions, even the guitar, I just don't, I'm not in love with the way they sound when I use the mod wheel. And I'm using the mod wheel all the time. So if you're on a budget or I mean, you don't have a budget, this is a great plugin for you to start with. So definitely recommend it, check it out, it's free. Hopefully you don't have any issues downloading it like I did. Moving on to number nine, which is Bass Fingers from Waves. So this is Bass Fingers. And what I really like about this plugin is it comes with all these really dope bass pedals. You got your basic basses. Let's check out this hop. Yeah, this one has a little more thickness. It's got some really cool basses in there that are extremely like experimental basses. Things I would have never thought of. I mean, let's try overdrive. This actually sounds really good. Like really, really good. I love all the effects that come with bass fingers. You got so many more presets. They got artists as well. They got bad snacks. Is that Jessie? Let's check out her presets. Come on, bro. Yeah, this is a great bass plugin for the price. In my opinion, it sounds really good. If you were to ask me, it's a bit undervalued and I would highly recommend it. Waves also has bass slappers, like bass fingers, but this is specifically bass slapping. I really like bass slappers. I've started incorporating it in some of the remixes I'm creating. I don't think I'll ever use bass slappers alone. Oftentimes I'll combine it with another bass. It does come with its, I'm not gonna say flaws, but I've noticed you can't really hammer on if you're playing too low. And all my bass players know exactly what a hammer on is. So I'm in G and I'll try to hammer on to the higher G. It sounds like two notes. But if I was to go up to B, I can get the hammer on. 
really it's not that big of a deal because like I said, I like to combine this bass with another bass sound. So I'm not looking to create an entire track and have the bass slappers as my only bass sound, but it's a really nice add-on. Okay, so before we check out some more fire electric basses, let's talk about Substance. Substance is a plugin from Output and it's got some really cool bass sounds as well. If you're into scoring films or electronic music, house music, you're really, really gonna wanna check out Substance. There's some fire in there. Let's check it out. Now, the great thing about Substance is you can easily adjust these four parameters, pulse, wet, attack, and sub. And then within this like little circle here, you got these three parameters you can change as well. I mean, I was just quickly making changes and I like the way it sounds. It's really easy to use. Another really cool bass plugin that's very similar to Substance is Bass Synth. Now, when I first got it a few years ago, at that point in time, I was really focused on making hip hop and like R&B. I wasn't really open to other styles of music. As I've grown throughout the years to really respect and admire different genres of music, I've also really grown to like plugins like Substance and Bass Synth. And Bass Synth is really dope as well. This plugin comes with amazing presets. Playing with the mod wheel in Bass Synth can really change the way the preset sounds. I'm pretty sure there's four different sounds we're hearing at once and we can turn them on or off. I'm pretty impressed. I'm about to drop on you guys one of the biggest hidden gems. And honestly, it is flames. The plugin is called Basilicious. This plugin is by Gospel Musicians. It's got these amazing bass synths. Let's check it out. By the looks of it, the plugin isn't flashy, but the sounds are crazy. Let's just browse. Rhythm and blues. It's one of my favorites right here. I'm really, really feeling bass delicious. It's got some amazing, incredible bass synths. So Native Instruments comes with six basses. I'm just gonna show you a few of them. This right here is the Scarby M bass. So again, you got some really cool basses in Native Instruments. There's a ton of bass synths in Native Instruments as well. And yeah, they're on point. So I picked up Moto Bass. When it comes to bass guitars, 
specifically bass guitars, it could be number one, 1A or 1B, it's up there, it sounds incredible. You can make adjustments to quite a few different parameters, even things like changing the finger position. So I got the 70s J bass pulled up and take a listen to the finger in position. And if I pull it farther away from the neck, this is what it sounds like. Then we got playing styles. So I can have finger, pick, or slap. Then we can adjust the strings. We can have broken in strings or old strings. For strings, we can go four, five, or six string. We can also make adjustments to the neck, change the amp. So there's really a lot you can do. And then you also have different presets, whether you want finger, pick, slap, extreme. So we got funky. Oh, that sounds nice. Let's change the strings to six. Coming in at number one, what I consider to be the best bass VST as we speak is Trillion from Spectrasonics. It comes with synths, it comes with acoustic basses, they've got arpeggiated basses. And yeah, the electric basses are insane. This patch was created in 1994 and still sounds incredible. One thing I love, they have sampled all these amazing synthesizers. You got a ton of Roland synthesizers, Profits, Moog, and the list goes on. It's hard to argue that this isn't the best bass VST. So that's gonna do it for this episode. Again, the goal was to just show you the plugins I rock with. I definitely do not recommend buying all of these plugins all at once. Don't go max your credit card out tonight. I bought them over the course of maybe three or four years. If you wanna get one, do your thing, do plenty more research. This was just a quick overview, but I highly recommend them. It's your boy Cedric from Sweet Scale TV. Appreciate y'all, I'm signing out. I'll see you in the next episode.